Have you ever wondered how fighter jets take off from the ocean in the middle of nowhere? In this video, we dive deep into the differences between American and Russian aircraft carriers and the launch systems that define their power. U.S. Navy Aircraft Carriers Catabar The United States uses the Catabar system, catapult-assisted takeoff but arrested recovery. Powerful steam or electromagnetic catapults hurl fighter jets into the sky at incredible speeds. This allows U.S. carriers to launch heavier aircraft with full fuel tanks, advanced radar planes, like the E-2 Hawkeye, and heavily armed fighters. It's complex and expensive, but it gives unmatched flexibility and striking power. Russian Aircraft Carriers Stobar Russia's carriers rely on the Stobar system, short takeoff but arrested recovery. Instead of catapults, jets accelerate down the deck and use a ski jump ramp to lift off. It's simpler, cheaper, and easier to maintain, but it comes with limits. Aircraft must take off lighter, often carrying less fuel and fewer weapons. This makes Russian carriers more restricted in long-range operations compared to their American counterparts. The Big Picture U.S. Carriers, Ruxury Advanced Technology, Global Reach, and Unmatched Air Power Russian Carriers, Russian rugged design, lower cost, but limited payload and range. Which do you think is better for real combat, the high-tech American catapult or the rugged Russian ski jump? Let us know in the comments.